Today we're starting a new series called Math for Knitters. And I'm starting this series based on questions that I get through email mostly from people who have questions for me related to their knitting, not really knitting questions, but things that I can answer because they, they do have everything to do with knitting. And if you have suggestions for this series, be sure to leave me a note in the comments or send me an email and let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas to add to this new series. And in this first Math for Knitters uh, video, we're going to talk about how to calculate how many yards are in a partial ball of yarn. Let's say that you have uh, some leftover yarn from another project and there's a great hat that you want to make. And the hat takes 87 yards and you're not sure if there's enough in this partial ball. And it'd be great to use up this extra yarn rather than going out to buy more so we can figure this out. The first thing you need is to know <clears throat> what yarn it is. If it's mystery yarn, mm, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to determine because you're going to have to base uh, the known facts about the yarn on a similar yarn. But let's say we know what this yarn is. And if you'll know because you have the yarn label or you can jump on Ravelry and um, look up the yarn to see how many yards is in a full ball and how many grams that full ball weighs because that's the information you need to start with. So you have that. The next thing you need is a kitchen scale. I think a postal scale will work the same way, but I use a kitchen scale. My kitchen scale measures in grams. And so you, you measure that to see <clears throat> what the actual weight of the partial ball of yarn is. So the things you need are the yardage of the full ball of yarn, the weight of the full ball of yarn, and the weight of the partial ball of yarn. And then we can get into the math part. I'm going to simplify this as much as possible to get you from point A to point B. There's a lot of math in between. I'm going to show you just how to figure it to get to your answer. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, this is the information that we need to get going. First, we're going to just look at this half of the equation. A full ball of yarn is 100 grams and 200 yards. I've kept this math really simple, but the formula is the same regardless. So a full ball of yarn is 100 grams and 200 yards. I've weighed my yarn and I have 50 grams of yard, 50 grams of yarn. The question is how many yards in 50 grams? Okay, to figure this, we want to look at this number and this number. We want to multiply 200 by 50. First thing you want to do, go diagonal across the equation here, 200 times 50 is 10,000. The next thing you want to do is divide 10,000 by the third number in the equation, 100. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so 10,000 divided by 100 is 100. Let's go over this again. This half of the equation is what we know. A full ball of yarn is 100 grams and 200 yards. The partial ball of yarn we have is 50 grams and an unknown number of yards. We multiply this by this and divide by this. That lets us finish the equation. 100 grams, 200 yards is 50 grams and 100 yards. So if we wanted to make this hat that requires 87 yards of yarn, we have enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, that's the math in its simplest form to get you from point A to point B. Good luck.